Hi everyone, it's Ennis here. Welcome to another episode. This week we're in Beverly Hills, California and about to tour this incredible property right behind me, also known as the Hearst Estate. This property was built in 1926. It has almost 100 years of history and was featured in many famous movies and TV shows, The Godfather being one of the most famous ones. So I'm really excited for today's episode. Now, specs on the main home, we got nine bedrooms. 15 bathrooms, approximately 29,000 square feet of interior square footage, built on a 3.5 acre lot, and this property is currently on the market for $89,750,000. As always, we will leave more information about the property down in the description, and before we start our tour, I wanna to thank all the listing agents for allowing us to tour their amazing listing and share it with all of you. Now let's begin our tour. From the street level, we have the gates opening up to a private 800 foot driveway that brings you all the way up to the main home. As you're driving up, everything is beautifully landscaped. And right here, we have the lighted tennis court with its own tennis pavilion. So you can enjoy a nice private game of tennis or basketball there. And on our left hand side, we have more parking spots and these gates open up to the motor court that takes you to the main home. Everything is beautifully landscaped. We have this water feature right in the center, kind of setting the tone for the rest of the home, clad with beautiful Spanish tiles. We have the house on our right hand side, but first we're gonna focus right here where we have the detached staff quarters and all the car garages. It has its own little gate right there as well. And now let's talk about the main home. Beautiful Spanish colonial revival architecture designed by Gordon Kaufman. We have stucco finish on the exterior, complemented with the tile roof balcony on the second floor, just a lot of these earth tones, and again, having the motor court kind of sets the tone as you enter the property. Yeah, and uh, this is one of the scenes, I'm gonna try not to bring this up too much today, but this is one of the locations they filmed The Godfather in, the motor court. So exactly. if it looks kind of familiar, this is a pretty like iconic filming location. It actually looks pretty similar, like they kept it pretty original to this day, so. Awesome, and finally, we have the front door right here, clad with this beautiful stone work, and now let's go inside. All right, everyone, here we are at the entry. Beautiful front door, Spanish tiles on the floors, and it brings you to this wide and spacious hallway here. In front of us, we have the courtyard. On our left, we have the family room and the dining areas. But first, let's take this hallway and go check out some common areas. We have the carpeted stairs here, taking us down to this level. And on our left-hand side, we have the two-story library. Now, this is probably one of my favorite rooms in this house. I always wanted to have a two-story library because why wouldn't you? Look how cool this space is. I mean, ton of hand-carved woodwork. Every corner is so well detailed out. Mikey, can we get a close-up on those um, beams, exposed beams with all the hand-carving details? It's so unique, so rich in character. Yeah, um, this is kind of what I always associate with estates like this when I was a kid is these big, you know, beautiful wooden library offices. Uh, it's really nice. This is incredible. And I mean, you have a wraparound second story where you can walk around and access all the bookshelves. We have the desk set up right here, TV on the left hand side. And of course we have the arch French doors opening up to the backyard right behind the desk. Overall, ton of beautiful wood paneling would work. Fireplace right here to cozy up the room. Now, Mikey, there's another detail here. Why don't you point to ceiling for a second? Look at all those ceiling medallions and all the details in the plaster. Yeah. They actually match that design on the floors right here with the carpet. Isn't that amazing? I hadn't noticed that. Yeah, that's really cool. I mean, it's incredible. Ton of details. All right, let's move on. Let's continue our tour. So we have these double doors right here, opening up to the billiards room. This room has hardwood floors, beautiful Spanish carved ceiling details. I mean, ton of character. I believe that's an egg and dart uh, crown molding detail around, darker tones, base cutting on the walls, chandelier right here, right on top of this beautiful uh, pool table. Now this pool table, I believe one of the three original Brownswick pool tables. I'm not expert in this field, but I have been told that this pool table is pretty significant. I believe it's from like the, what, 1886 or something like that? Yes. Yeah, it's over a hundred years. Also that mantle fire, fireplace behind you. Yes. When they were building the Hearst Castle, they used 
this fireplace design also over there and they brought it here as well and they were when they were remodeling it well yeah so the original owner of this uh, and i guess not the original owner but william randolph hurst when exactly. he bought the home he remodeled it and moved this he didn't from, remodel it he brought a lot of european elements to yeah the home. and he moved this from uh his castle which is up uh near san francisco yeah um, hearst castle hearst castle one which, of the most iconic properties in the country and, arguably and in the world maybe yeah. in the world yeah um that's like the versailles of the united states that's know? right uh and, anyway mean, he brought this here yeah i mean look at all this character and details mikey this is incredible i mean so cool yeah. now bit of a seating area there's a smaller patio space off of this room as well and we have a pocket door right here opening up to kind of like a Secondary seating area, bar area here, plaster walls, again, vase cutting details. This one has a little bit more of the lighter tones. In here, of course, ceiling is clad with beautiful wood, but these hand-painted details, I mean, just so much character here. And we have a sunken bar area here with a refrigerator, small sink, everything you need, you know, your countertops. This whole wall is a massive picture window looking towards the side of your property where you have the driveway and your tennis court. So you get a nice little view here and uh, doors opening up to the kind of the entry of the property. And going through these two, uh, sorry, three openings, we have the formal living room area. 22 foot barrel vault ceiling detail here, which looks incredible. And Mikey, let's point out the ceiling for a second. Look at all the woodwork, molding details and the hand painted details. This is incredible. I mean, this feels like a European castle here. It this does. Is, this is incredible. And we have fabric walls, nice seating, comfortable seating areas, piano set up at the end. Again, ton of natural light coming in, wainscoting, woodwork, and Mikey, we gotta show this detail. So this room actually serves as a screening room. And in order to kind of block the light, they actually have these window kind of pocket doors. Isn't that cool? Yeah, I like that. And uh, if y'all are wondering where the uh, projectors are for the screening room, they're right there over that uh, portrait. So cool, so iconic. I mean, this is, this is incredible. We have hardwood floors here. This is another spacious setup. Now, let's go back to this hallway, which brings us to the main hallway. By the way, I guess since we went through this door, we kind of forgot this detail. Look at this uh, arched woodwork here as you go into the billiards room. This is incredible. I don't even know where that piece came from. Just looks incredible. Yeah, it's awesome. All right, now let's go back to the hallway. By the way, look at the size of this hallway. Really high ceilings with the beam details. Over here, we have a staircase going up to the second floor. And before we go this wing, I wanna take you guys right here. Spanish tiles continue. We have all these French doors opening up to an incredible outdoor space on this level that overlooks to your incredible backyard. We're gonna see that in a bit. But first, before we leave here, there's also this section right here with these hand-painted Spanish tiles. They have a nice little built-in uh, seating setup. It just looks really cool. And right above us, we have these groin ceiling details. Again, ton of character in the space. Now, let's continue our tour. We have the first entry from that point, second entry right here that takes you to the formal dining room area. Now, this is one of the three dining areas in this house, or at least on this side of the home, which is really impressive. Again, ton of character, table set up right here with a beautiful chandelier. Woodwork continues in this room, but the whole room is pretty much clad with mirror and uh, intricate molding details. And going through these doors, by the way, each one of these interior doors are all hand carved, ton of character. I mean, I feel like I'm not even expert enough to talk about all these intricacies and details in this house. Yeah, there's there's like a tiny little detail everywhere you look. Every room is so different, like this dining room to the next one. Yeah, this one is totally different, right? This one has Spanish tiles on the walls as veins cuttings, lighter tones. I like the crown molding detail that they have that is hand painted. Again, another chandelier. And following these double doors, it opens up the third dining room. This one has a totally different design. I like this fabric ceiling detail they have here. Mikey, let's get a close up of that chandelier. I just realized it. That's cool. I wanna say this kind of like a circus theme. It's like a tent roof and there's like a lion and like swings over there, you know? It's almost, almost like that. Yeah, I mean, th there's definitely some energy. Things are happening in this room for sure. Yeah. Now, I wanna take you guys through here because this is where we have the family room. This is one of the most spacious seating areas in the entire house. Beautiful stone floors beam ceiling details with the fabric finish, recessed lights. Again, ton of wood uh, paneling on the walls, 
Right here, we have a wet bar complementing the seating area. And these French doors, this one opens up to the main patio that we saw earlier. And these two are opening up to an additional outdoor space off of this level. Again, beautiful space. I love these wall sconces that we have throughout the room. Fireplace to cozy up the uh, space. And right above us, we have a drop down projector for screening. Now, as we look around again, beautiful woodwork. I love these older books that complements the shelves. And right around the corner, there's something very special. Now, in 1953, John F. Kennedy and his wife honeymooned in this property. And after their honeymoon, uh, Jackie, Kennedy's wife, wrote a four page letter about her experience in this estate, which is incredible. You can actually see the date on the bottom here. That's an incredible piece of memorabilia. Yeah, that's, that's really one of a kind. That that's, is one uh, of a kind. That's incredible. But overall, this is an amazing seating area, again, complementing the entertainment spaces of this home. It's neat for several reasons. One, it's unusual to have a, a full nightclub in a house uh, and have it be so authentic to be um, the way they've designed it. So he took a lot of the, the current owner took a lot of the features from Touch, which was a nightclub that Hugh Hefner, a lot of people may know from the Playboy Mansion, Mm -hmm. And they actually took the Art Deco doors, they took the etched glass, and they also took the bar itself from that nightclub and actually transported it here. So you have a disco ball, you have a projection uh, screen in there. It, it's pretty special. It's pretty neat. All right, everyone. Now we're at the lower level where we have the nightclub. And you heard me correctly. We have a nightclub in this house, and it starts off right here where we have a nice the seating area with beautiful carpet floors and going back to the main hallway which is lighted up with these wall sconces we have women's and men's bathrooms since there's nobody out here we can actually check out the women's bathroom so come on in and Mikey let's show this real quick double vanities water closet at the end nice warm tones and you actually have a makeup area on this side which is really nice and right on the other side we have the men's bathroom by the way Beautiful etched glass here, and going in, straightforward, water closet, vanity set up right here with the green marble. Yeah, so this whole floor is kind of laid out to service this nightclub, which we're about to walk into. That's right. Um, Very unique. Yeah, that's really cool. Let's really cool. All right, I guess before we go into the nightclub, wine cellar. I guess that goes hand to hand, right? Beautiful woodwork. I like the ceiling detail, chandeliers, temperature controlled, uh, again, complementing the nightclub. Now, off of the wine cellar, we have a bit of a seating area here at this landing, and this door opens up to the nightclub. Now, there's a really unique story about this nightclub, and I'm gonna talk about that in a bit, but first, let's focus on this door, built out of brass, beautiful details, glass insert, and right around the corner, there's actually another door that looks exactly like this door, a little bit different, and this staircase goes down to the lower level where we have the full gym complemented with a spa where you have the hot tub, sauna, and everything else you need. Now, going back into the nightclub, this is an Art Deco design. I love the granite floors, seating area. Mikey, let's show this real quick. We have the DJ booth on this side, mirrored ceilings, and all these French doors are opening up to the backyard of the property. Of course, no nightclub is complete without a disco ball, uh, additional seating areas here with beautiful brass fireplace design. I love the decor and going in here. Mikey, why don't you take a seat? We have the full bar set up. This is a commercial bar where you have all your fridges, a nice mirrored backsplash. I love these etched glass details above us. This is incredible. And just when we thought we saw it all, here's a nightclub in a 100 year old home that was formerly designed and owned by Hugh Hefner. I mean, this is incredible. All right, everyone, here we are at the landing of the second floor. Right behind me, we have the 100-foot hallway with beautiful beam ceiling details, seating area on this side, looking over your motor cart off of the entry, and this door on our left-hand side opens up to the primary bedroom. As soon as you walk in, you have a bit of a seating area here, and on our right-hand side, we have the first of the two bathrooms for the primary bedroom. But going through this door, we have the main bedroom itself, 
it's extremely spacious. We have the king size bed situated here. And I think we forgot to mention it so far, but this home is currently owner occupied. So we cannot show every single room, but we're gonna show you guys the you know important common areas and the primary bedroom suite, which is right here. We have some built-ins on this side, gas fireplace, and these French doors opens up to a wraparound balcony for the primary bedroom suite. Again, extremely spacious, cold seating light detail above. And going through this door, we have the first bathroom right here. Everything is clad with beautiful marble. I mean, look at the inlays on the floors, tub set up on this side and the column details that we're gonna see on the outside, they brought it to the interiors as well. Uh, water closet here, ton of space, and we have all these windows bringing natural light to the bathroom. Now, go into the other side, right around the corner, we have the other bathroom and the closet. So, we have that first entry point. We actually have an additional entry point here from the hallway, and this is where you have your built-in closets. Again, everything is beautifully clad, and these doors, sorry, this door opens up to the second bathroom. Again, located for the primary bedroom wing. Beautiful marble floors with the brass inlay, um, sewn everywhere, your tub set up, water closets, walk-in showers, ceiling details, ton of beautiful woodwork. And at the end of the hallway, we actually have a secondary primary bedroom suite, which is pretty much the same size as this primary bedroom suite, super spacious, has its own bathroom. And just like this bedroom, it has a wraparound balcony overlooking the beautiful grounds and the backyard this property has. So uh, this property is, is great for entertaining. It really has an amazing flow to it, and they've really thought it out well, even though it's a large property. So you have three and a half acres, almost all flat, and it's very, very peaceful, as you said. It's uh, tranquil. You have these two amazing uh, reflecting pools that actually seep into an Olympic-sized pool. So Paul Field designed these amazing gardens that you see here with the pools and Olympic-sized pool and the fountains and the waterfalls. It's pretty spectacular and the grounds are kept up meticulously. It's been filmed quite a bit. So it was filmed in the bodyguard uh, pretty extensively. Um, we already mentioned about The Godfather, which is uh, one of the most iconic movies uh, of all time. So uh, it's pretty special that it was, that it was filmed here. They also, uh, Beyonce did one of her very well-known videos, Black as King, uh, was filmed here. And the backyard and the pool. Um, and they've done several other filming here as well. All right, everyone, let's talk about the beautiful grounds and the amazing backyard this property has. Right now, we're on the patio space off of the entry hallway, and this outdoor space extends out all the way to the family room, again, where we have all the French doors opening up to the outdoors. Right in the center, we have this beautiful fountain adding tranquility to this space, ton of seating areas. And this is the staircase coming down from the primary bedroom, and you guys may remember this frame right here. This is the staircase that we all saw at the Godfather movie. This is incredible. This is a piece of history right here, this corner. Yeah, and uh, me and Edis just watched that recently. We had to prepare for the movie, and it's really weird walking around this space having just watched that movie. It brings fresh in my mind. These grounds, the outdoor space uh, in this property is so special. I mean, I'm kind of speechless. And from this elevated patio space off of the main floor, you see your beautiful grounds, your pool area, I mean, this is so iconic. This, this backdrop here looks stunning. As I take the stairs and go down to the lower grounds, again, everything is beautifully landscaped. We have these walkways that takes us down all the way to the pool area. On our right and left-hand side, we have water features, again, complementing this backyard. Super private, hedged on each side. I don't see any neighbors. Grounds are just beautiful. And in the center, we have these two pools overflowing each other, having that step design, which then flows into the main Olympic pool that we have down below. Again, grounds are amazing. Uh, I feel like I'm taking a walk in this incredible country estate where we're actually in the heart of the city, minutes away from the iconic Beverly Hills Hotel, probably four to five minutes away from the Beverly Hills Commercial District. And look at the grounds and the space you get in this property. And now that we're on the lower level, we have this incredible Olympic-sized pool in front of us. This is without a doubt the biggest pool we have ever seen on this channel. Uh, simple plaster, blue tones, looks super inviting. 
it's it's really nice and also i see some similarities between this and uh the hearst castle uh i guess william randolph hearst probably installed the what are these called these ionic columns ionic columns and do they serve a purpose or i guess it's purely for design right honestly purely for design obviously they're holding up those structures in place but they have these uh, arches, unique arches with all the stone decorations, ionic columns. It's that Spanish, Mediterranean, Greek influence that we're used to seeing in these older homes. And again, keep in mind, a lot of the stuff that was used in Hearst Castle was also used in this house with the sculptures and everything. But these grounds are incredible. I mean, Mikey, we gotta get a close up of these uh, columns and arch designs, everything. It looks super unique. We have more on this side. And of course, we have the pool house right around the corner, again, complementing this side of the yard. Now let's look back to the estate for a second. By the way, the kick out on the right hand side is where we have the nightclub and above it is a more outdoor space off of the family room. Estate from this point looks incredible. I'm so impressed with how similar the property looks to the original home that was here. Again, they managed to keep all the original details like the roof, these awnings on the windows, cantilever balconies, uh, stucco finish on the exterior, and these grounds are just amazing and breathtaking. And I mean, keep in mind, it's original, but they kept this house in immaculate condition. everyone that's it for the tour i hope you all enjoyed this video we certainly enjoyed our time here touring this iconic property and sharing it with all of you this home has almost 100 years of history there's just so much character story and uh emotions in this place that i feel like we're honored to be here making this tour happen and share it with all of you i want to thank all the listing agents specifically Anthony Margulis for allowing us to tour their amazing listing and share it with all of you. And if you enjoyed this video, just make sure to give us a like. If you have any questions or input, as always, leave us a comment down below. If you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to our channel and we'll see you guys next week.